Uh, today we're going to do a few dishes. Actually, we had about 11 dishes planned. We'll see how much we can do. Last time we did what? Nine dishes? Okay, so right now we're cheating a little bit because of the time we have restriction. So today we're going to have some asparagus, some prawns, a leg of lamb, which is going to be the big dish of the day. We have uh, some red snapper from Makoko Market, my favorite, favorite place to go when I'm in Nigeria. And today we're going to do a French dish called Barigo. So it will be red snapper a la Barigo. Uh, also today we're going to do a couple of carpaccios for you guys. We're going to have some salmon carpaccio. We're going to have, uh, and also, what do you call that fish again? Pomano. Yeah, so we, we do some of that for you today. Then, of course, the best bit, the dessert. Uh, today we're going to do two desserts. One is going to be uh, chocolate based and the other is going to be berry based and yogurt. So anyway, enjoy the show. So to start, we'll start with asparagus. And um, to be honest, I've actually blanked some asparagus beforehand, but I just wanted to show you how we go about doing things in LPM. All we do is always simple. It's about simplicity, but it's about how you go about simplicity. You know, and when people say, why does this taste so good? I say, it's TLC. Love, tender care. So, we're going to start by the asparagus. We have a pot of water that's been boiling. I'm going to, this asparagus has been cleaned already. And I'll boil it, but I'll show you how I boil it. The, 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 the water is actually a high concentrated uh, salt water. So we start with this, okay? And what I'll do is, because of the way asparagus is, you have the, the end bead, which is thicker and thinner. So what we do is that by immersing the, the thicker side in the water for about a minute, then actually drop the rest in the water so they're evenly cooked. Okay, while we're doing that, Filippo is going to do the one prawns and olive oil. This is my favorite dish in LPM. And it's so simple. And it's just a matter of having good salty water. Where's this? Which one is this one? No, sorry. Good salty water. And um, good basil, good olive oil, and good lemon juice. And of course, we got some prawns from Makoko Market as well. Yeah? Okay? Go. And before we got introduced, we wanted to steal some lamb. So basically, today we have a leg of lamb, and this leg of lamb is about maybe six weeks old, and all he's ever had is just uh, the mother's milk. No grass, nothing. So it's almost like having chicken, but not really. In fact, um, I remember when I first opened the restaurant, I had somebody from Saudi Arabia that came to the restaurant and says, can I see the chef? I said, why? He said, because I think he served us some turkey instead of lamb. We ordered lamb, but we got turkey. So when I brought out the lamb and I showed it to him, he couldn't believe it was lamb. So anyway, we'll do some of that. And what we'll do with the lamb today is we're going to seal it, throw it in the oven. Usually I cook this medium rare, but today I'll cook it um, like medium well, because I know there's a lot of people in the crowd that don't eat like medium rare. And we're going to serve this on a bed of couscous. But while I still seal that, Filippo, you good? Okay, what Philip is doing here at the same time is that we have a salmon carpaccio we're going to do today. And basically what we've done, we've killed the salmon in salt water and a hint of sugar. And what we do is then after about three, four hours, we blow torch it and we put a light paste of tapenade. And this is how we're going to do the carpaccio for this one. Okay, I get back to the asparagus. Now I put the whole, immense the whole asparagus in water. Do I add icy water? Is there salt in that? Is there salt in it? You did? Okay, fantastic. And the other thing we do is that, you know, usually what people do is when they cook vegetable, the blanched vegetable, they go from salty water into icy water. But what we do is that we actually put salt in a cooling water as well because what happens is that, I'm sure most of you are familiar with osmosis, and cooking is all about science. It's from going from a high concentration to a low concentration. And in order not to lose the flavor when it's in the cold water, what we do is we put that salt so the concentration stays the same. Therefore, you get the nice nutrient. And also, the thing is that we just cook the asparagus, not overcook it. We cook it to a point where it still keeps all its nutrients. So let me see. To taste that, I will take a bit of a, a parry knife and I'll just stab it a little bit to see if it's cooked. It's not ready. So we keep cooking it for a little longer. In the meantime, are you okay there, Filippo? Yeah. Sian, you give her a hand. Yeah, okay, good. In the meantime, 
with asparagus, we don't have a goat cheese dressing. The goat cheese dressing is very simple. What we have is we have like goat cheese. I'm going to quarter them, crumble it, and then I will add a bit of white balsamic vinegar and olive oil. And I have some comfy shallots that has been comfy for about an hour or no, sorry, over, over two hours with salt, tarragon, and that's about it till it's really soft. And olive, uh, olive oil. So we'll see, hold on. We're good. Yep, it's ready. I think we're done with the water, so I'll put this away. So Raphael, while you're cooking, can we take some questions from the audience who'd like to hear from your experience and all? Can we do that right now? Oh, before you start, can I just say one more thing? Okay. Now we're going to cook the couscous. The couscous is just fine couscous. Uh, where did I put the spice? Oh. And what I have is, you can make your own spice, but what I have here is mostly turmeric, cinnamon, cardamom, and uh, cumin. So what I'll do is I'll put this... So it's actually measured. So this is 600 grams of couscous with some spice in it. And the boiling water is about 350 grams of boiling water. Do you have the scale? Let's put the spaghetti here. Stove. What, sir? Yeah, it's okay. It's good. I'm going to ask in a minute one of you um, to ask your first question, but first of, let's find out if we're ready for that. Are we good? Are we good? Raphael? Sorry, yeah, absolutely. We're good. All right, so let's take a question from this side of the room, but please pay attention to what he's doing and uh, let's not lose track. Who's got a question for Chef Odunte? Anybody on this side? I can't see. No, not yet. Okay, there's some on the other side of the room. Now, I notice you're weighing that. Would we, uh, could we know exactly why and how much to look out for? Oh, that's the question they wanted to ask. <laughs> so why are you weighing it? Why am I weighing it? Because, especially when it comes to a show like this, you want to make sure you get it right. So to be safe, <laughs> it's better I play it slate. But when I'm at home, I don't do that. And because of also the time that we have, I do not have the time to play around with it. So it's just got to be on spot, on point, rather. So that's about it. Actually, funny enough, that came us to 350 exact, which is a miracle because usually it doesn't. So <laughs> then a bit of olive oil, just to help loosen it while it's steaming. And I'll mix it up a little bit. So please, if there's any other questions, please go ahead. Okay, we've got one here. Good How afternoon. are we doing, Filippo? You good? Uh, good afternoon, Chef Rafael. Good afternoon. You mentioned earlier you studied engineering. Yeah. Why did you become a chef and when did you notice your foodie? You know what I would say? I would like to say I, I grew up in a home where food was everything, but it's not so. I, I went to, when I was about 13, I went to England to study. And um, one of my summer jobs was actually initially, no, my dad said I had to have a summer job to get me out of trouble. And what I did initially was I worked as a chambermaid in a hotel, but I was no good at it, so they kicked me out. And um, the next summer, I decided I wanted something that was less skillful. So I went and washed pans and pots in a very casual restaurant. And every summer I go back and um, I notice I do the same thing. And one day I helped the, car uh, the chef carrot carrots and, you know, I just kind of progressed. But to be honest, why did I become a chef? Tempering sanity, that's it. Okay. That's just tempering sanity. That's a good one. Uh, and temporary because I plan to move on from this very soon. <laughs> what would you be moving on to then? All right, do you have any questions on this? All right, we've got one here. Please stand up when you ask. This can go, right? Yeah, this can go. Um, chef, I think uh, my major problem with cooking is actually having access, easy access to all of these ingredients that you're making use of. 
um, I don't know about for others outside Lagos, but for here in Lagos, where can you recommend we can get especially asparagus? Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, Episcery in uh, VI. Oh, we're in VI, right? Here in VI, here, yeah, absolutely. So they have great produce. It's amazing. I mean, I get so turned on when I go into that store because, you know, I'm surprised by what I find. And they're beautiful and fresh. And um, I would like to say I got this asparagus today from a fishery, but that's not the case because, unfortunately, my time to get here, based because of, just because I've been so busy with other stuff, I didn't have enough time to come to Nigeria this time to shop, but of course I saved some time from a Makoko market. Um, but seriously, you can find a lot of this produce here at home. So now I'm going to put the lamb in the oven and let it cook for a while. While we get the pronto ready, okay. Filippo's beat me to a dish, so we talk about Filippo's dish. Um, so this is one of my favorite dish. It's simple. Is the lemon juice in there? Yes. Okay. It's very simple, and it's basically one pronto and olive oil with basil. So what we'll do is that we'll pass this around for people to try. Filippo? Mm? We'll pass some of this around, yeah. so we'll get people okay. to pass it, okay? We're going to have some ground rules yeah. to this now. When we're passing the food, please, nobody get up from your seats. Please remain there and absolutely no crossing onto the stage. Thank you very much. It'll reach you, hopefully. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we'll do people. the next dish, which is the uh, asparagus with uh, goat cheese dressing and some uh, comfy shallots. So I have this goat cheese, which I'll break up into small pieces. And usually what I'll do is I'll let this marinate in the Balsamic vinegar, white wine balsamic vinegar for quite a while, but we don't have that time. So, as always, I had one made already. So, just to show you what I, how I marinate, I'll just demonstrate this, and I'll move on to the next one. Okay. All right. We got a question from a member of the audience here. I'm gonna go all the way back here, gentlemen. Do you have a ball? I can pull the ball. Hello. Hello. Hi. My, qu my question is this. Uh, what will you use, uh, olive oil instead of normal vegetable oil? Wow, good question. First of all, my cooking is Mediterranean, so we use a lot of olive oil. And secondly, it's much healthier. So you might, after me, you probably have Chef uh, Curry saying that, you know, how healthy this food is. We do very healthy food as well. I like healthy food. I like light food. And I believe that, you know, and the flavor of olive oil as well is great and has uh, a bit of a character. And that's why I use that. Next question. Uh, actually, I want to test the pause here on that last dish that you just tasted. What was that? Delicious. Delicious. Well, she's, it was delicious. <laughs> Simplicity. <laughs> and you know, I'll tell you what. The other thing I, I like is that me, my favorite dish is the one the chef has very little to do with. It's just finding great produce and actually combining them together. I mean, in my last show, I said that, you know, things I remember about food and what I enjoy most about food or places I've been to, and I've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of three stars, and I don't remember what I ate there. But I remember when I was walking down the street and I saw somebody do some bruschetta, and so simple, it was so delicious. I remember when I had just a, a, a plate of uh, raw fish with a bit of olive oil and some... Um, and some, and some soy sauce, which was just awesome. So, basically, so basically, this becomes this. And this is what I'm going to use to dress my asparagus. Where's the container? Okay, this one. Um, hello, chef. Yep. Yeah, so I, I didn't get what you rubbed the lamb with. So, say that what again? What did you rub the lamb with? Or is just oh, the lamb. Just... The lamb is just with salt. Salt, okay, thank you. You know, a lot of things I do, when I cook, I only cook with salt. And a bit of pepper here and there. So basically now, this is the same asparagus coming out of the water because it's now chilled. And I'm going to use it to, I'm going to start dressing it now. A 
Well, okay then. What well, you just put in the bowl? Um, yeah, didn't sorry. get that. What was that again? Can I seal this bowl? Okay, it's a bit busy. Let's ask a question from uh, this side of the room. Has anybody got a question that they'd like to ask Chef Duntoye? No, they don't, but you'd like to taste, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, a question from all the way up here now. Hello, Mr. Chef. Hi. I love the way you are cooking, but what you serve, do you actually have ambitious uh, thoughts in doing it? Do I what, sorry? Do you actually have ambitious thoughts in doing it? I'm sorry, could you say that again? I'm, <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be, and I don't think I can hear you properly, so. I think, I think he's asking how passionate you are about it. Oh, you know what? To do this job, you gotta love it. You know, and I, honestly, I love doing this job. I really do. You know, I, I, I stumbled onto this by accident, and you know, I feel so blessed. Because, you know, for somehow, without preaching to you guys, all my disappointments always turn out to be a greater blessing. <laughs> and I feel me going into cooking, is, that's what it's all about. All my disappointment became a blessing. So, I love doing it, but at the same time, you know, what you love most sometimes can kill you. And because I love it so much and I can never do it halfway, I have to do it all the way. And that as well can be quite stressful. You know, I never settle for less. And that's why I feel that in order for me to, I mean, I want my children to enjoy me someday. And that's why I think I need to actually, maybe in four or five years now, I need to actually take a bow and do something else with my life. Um, Mr. I, Chef? Yeah? I'm here, up here. So, here. Hello, young man. I'm a child, so I'm not really used to cooking. Um, after you cook the asparagus, do you really need to put it in the salt water? Oh, yeah, you do. Because, like I said, it's about osmosis. You know, it's going from high concentration to lower concentration. A lot of people don't do that, but we do that. And people, like I said, you know, people say, but well, why does your vegetables taste so nice? It's because I keep all the nutrients and all the flavor because the asparagus has been cooked in salt water. If I put in just normal water without salt, the concentration, the flavors will pass, will go, will go into the water, and we don't want to do that. So that's why we put salt in the water to keep the concentration the same. All that answer for one young man. Are you ready to be a cook now? <laughs> good question, by the Very way. Very good question, yes indeed. So, Chef, why, why so much emphasis on salt? You know, Emphasis on salt because for me salt just brings out the flavor thing. You, not too much salt, like anything else, you know. Anything, any, any, anything that is a bit too much is no good. Too much is no good. It's just having enough. Just enough. So, can I just tell you a bit what I'm doing right now? Um, I'm sorry. In trying to make up time, I'm trying to uh, speed up things and I'm not actually engaging you guys the way I should. So basically right now, I have the asparagus, which I have actually tossed in the comfy shallot dressing. And now I'm going to put the goat cheese, which, remember, I marinate the goat cheese in uh, balsamic vinegar and, um, and olive oil. And this, again, is a very simple dish. It's something that you can do at home. You know, it's so simple. And for the amount of effort you put into it and the reward that comes out of it, you know, it's just amazing. And uh, hopefully you guys will be the judge of that and tell me what you think about this. Please make sure the young man over there gets a tasting. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think he deserves it. All the way on this side of the room, we're looking for a question from any member of the... Uh... Okay, good, we've got one here. You'd have to stand up, please. Tian, can you guys arrange this uh, one for me so we can give it to the crowd to try? Hello. Welcome, Chef. Hi. I just want to ask if we could, could get a recipe for this, this uh, very... And so people can try. Okay, so to cut them yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. I, I just want to know if you could get the recipe, please. You know, apart from the couscous, is what you see is what you get, basically. Nothing is measured, nothing is... Uh, and you know what I think? For me, cooking is about 20% recipe and 80% personality. So I think your cooking should reflect your personality. And that's why usually I don't encourage to have... I can never follow a recipe. 
personally, and that's why maybe I'm not a, I am not a pastry chef because to be a pastry chef, you need to follow the, the recipe to key, I mean, to, to point. And um, I get bored. So I just kind of scan, okay, I know that, 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 okay, and I do it my own way. And that's what I encourage you to do is like, you know, for example, you have all this great classic music, you know, Tchaikovsky. If you listen to two people, they don't play the same. And that's the way I see cooking as well. You know, we can have both the same uh, recipe, but then by the time we're done, it tastes differently because it's different personality. But anyway, this is uh, asparagus with goat cheese and shallow dressing. And we're making more for you guys to try here. And I'm going to cut this up for the young men. So, while you're doing that, Mama here has a question. Thank you. Mr. Chef, please, which is preferable? The sea salt or the iodized salt? You, I tell you what, I don't like iodized salt myself personally. I, 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 people say it's healthy, yeah, but I just don't like the taste because I think it kills the, the I don't think it's as good as using, but you know what? It all depends about the salt you have. I mean, I'll tell you what, the amount of salt that I have, I have about five different salts here with different gray, uh, grain. For example, I have this one, which is more crust, and I use that for my warm prawns. I have this here, which is molten salt, and I use that for seasoning when I cook. I have salt I use for blanching, which is more the regular table salt, because I don't use that to season my food. I just use it to like blanch things. So when I cook, I have two different grades of salt. So I, today, I have one, two, three, four, five, for different things. And the ones I use for the capachos as well, it's different. Okay, sorry, while we're doing this, I need to show you another dish. Today, we have a salmon, like I said, a salmon capacho, and what we have on it now is a bit of guacamole. Do anybody know what guacamole is? Okay, so that's good. And then what we've done is, with, for, for a bit of a crunch, you've taken some wild rice and actually deep fried it so it pops off. So food is all about texture as well. A combination of texture of soft, crunchy, and also uh, good seasoning. So what we have here also, we have some salmon, and also we have uh, pickled uh, mushroom, which is, uh, it's got a bit of sweetness to it. So a combination of that, the saltiness of guacamole, the saltiness of the, uh, the tapenade against this pickled mushroom works so well. So I'll give you guys to try this as well. Can we pass this on as well? Yeah. By the way, yeah, do you have like two picks or something like that people can use? Or maybe yes, actually move something? Yeah, pinoche. okay, okay, good, excellent. Did you know you, we had Chef Brian Malarkey in your audience? He's no, right over oh my there. God! He's don't tell, to be don't tell me that. His show was amazing yesterday. <laughs> All right. I mean, like... obviously you can see who's, he's a professional. This is not something I do quite often. So, <laughs> but please go ahead. You take this. You do it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do this one. I got this one. Okay. Good afternoon, Chef. Hi. I'm good. Uh, during your measurements, I I had you mention that you measure your uh, water with 600. Uh, uh, grams of uh, couscous yes for the couscous yeah okay um it is quite um noticeable that liquid are measured with uh, meals so how do you do the conversion to grams okay good question water in grams and liter is the same because of the same density but you wouldn't do that with milk or oil because it's different density. So 600 grams is also six liter, uh, 600 liters of water. And the six, I'm sorry, not 600, six, 600 mils of water, sorry. So uh, a, a kilo of water equals a liter of water. Does that answer your question? Good. Next question. Okay. Now the questions are pouring in now. I'd like to bring your attention. Please, the young man up there is still expecting his serving. He needs to taste it. That was a beautiful question he asked yeah, that yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, before, I have now what I have. Um, we're doing a carpaccio of uh, pompana. Pompano. Pompano, sorry. It's a fish, actually, before coming to Nigeria, I've, I've never heard about. But I thought it would be nice to use a local fish to do one of the dish I do at LPM. And um, it's a... It's, it's a Sorry, sorry? 
Owere, Owere, oh, traditionally it's called Owere. And actually you have this fish in, in Florida as well, so if it works here, I'll probably do the same in Florida, because I just opened a restaurant, La Petite Maison, in Miami, so we might just do that. Very quickly, I'd like to know what Filippo is doing, please. <laughs> Filippo's the star. Filippo. Filippo. Well, they'd like to know what you were doing just now. So this is basically, uh, the dessert is called sugar rouge, which is actually a berry foam, a yogurt ice cream, and a shoe pastry, which is not actually baked, but as you can see, it's fried. So basically, the, the shoe pastry is going to be filled in with vanilla cream, and it's going to be tossed in uh, ice cream. Everything works very well together. Acidity, sweetness, everything comes out. The crunchiness of the, the, crunchiness of the shoe paste and everything. Did I answer? Did he answer? Are you good? You're good, yes? Yes, you did. Thank you very much. By the way, the heat on this side is really, really, really... Okay, I see you. This would be the last question if I'm, I'm sure of this this time. No, you're going to ask it. No, I, I, I'm not going to read it. Ask. Okay, then. We have one more question and then we're done. Can we get a small um, this not, um. I'm not going to actually ask a question, but there's a kind of segregation on this part of the, on the aisle from the testing and everything, so I don't just understand. Basically, they want to taste some of your stuff on this side of the room. They feel left out, so please, okay. the servers, if you can help uh, get to this side of the room and also the other extreme there, uh, if you can go up on this side, they'd really like to taste. Chef Duntoye, where are we on things? Oh, see you okay, basically right now we're going to serve the two dessert. The first one we're going to serve is going to be the yogurt ice cream with a, a berry of foam and a chouquette, which is uh, basically a choux pastry which has been deep fried that makes it a beignet or a chouquette. Okay. And it's going to go with this... Uh, oh my God. What's it called again? What's is it on? Is it on? Sugarouche. Chouquette kush. Chouquette rouge, yeah. I didn't get that right. That's very obvious. I'm sorry. Oh my God. And on that side, what are you doing? Um, that um, looks like a very foamy thing there, Chef Duntoye. It's very occupied at the moment. Filippo, Filippo, we start this too freaking early. Want to tell us what that is, please? Okay. Okay. Basically, what we have here is uh, frozen yogurt. And uh, what we do is that we make a cheesecake in the Lapite Maison and we, cook, we stew all the berries. And from that berries, we have a liquid that is left over. So instead of getting rid of the berries, we decide to do something different. So what we do with the, with the juice of the berry is actually we put, we take white eggs, we dehydrate it, then turn it into powder. And then what we do, we use a... Who has a fish tank at home? Fish tank. Anybody's got a fish tank at home? A fish tank, you know, with fish, goldfish? Nobody? Nobody's got a fish tank at home? Very few. Good, okay. So basically, what we do is that the pump for a fish tank that actually pumps air into the, to the tank, we've taken that in order to make those bubbles. So basically, using the fish tank, We've created this beautiful foam, which is going to be a dessert for you guys to try. Yes, uh, and Filippo's rolling that in some flour. Is that flour? Say, say that again? This is what's, what's that? He's rolling the... Uh... Uh, those are the chouquettes. So okay. basically, they're called... they actually actually choux pastry that has been fried. So when you fry them, it comes, you didn't call them a chouquette or beignet. Okay. And what we've done is actually fry them and fill them with a bit of uh, vanilla cream okay. and toss them into vanilla sugar. Oh, so vanilla sugar. What, yeah, so okay. we can... I will, can you give this to Shegun? Oh, yes, I uh, will. I'd like you to try because I've actually not... Uh, you got a spoon, 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 spoon? You got a spoon? Oh, 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 yes, yes. I'll wash this one out. Is it ready? 
You have to hurry, otherwise I'll have it myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> Amen. Okay, let's start cleaning now. Fantastic. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, we've actually almost come to the end of our show. And what I'll do is on the side here, I'll make little cups for people to try as much as possible. How's the chocolate goes? Has our professional taster gotten any? any have you got a professional taster? No, he hasn't. Oh, my All God. Right, I'll bring yours to you myself, okay? Don't worry. Cook. Never come. Let's go. Yeah, cook. Let's go. Where's the ice cream? Yeah. One for the professional taster. Where is he? There he is. Crazy. It's a bad show. This, 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 where's, where's the... People, <laughs> where's the... This, where's the I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. 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 There you go. I hope it's evenly uh, going around now. No, no, it's finished. unfortunate we can't. We, not everybody can taste. There's just a few plates. But we'll try our best. We'll try our best. All right? Chef Dunte is still scooping that uh, is it raspberry again. Don't worry. It'll come. It'll come. Yeah, we're done, we're done, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, there's still a few left, but uh, maybe one of them's gonna be for me. Well, that was fantastic, I must say. Very interesting, uh, the technique that you've used and all. Goodness. Now, I know that uh, we might have some more questions that we need to ask. Maybe we will be able to ask that later. I'm sorry if we can't get all of the tastings to go around, but yes, it's a very big class and there's, uh, there's uh, so few people. If we can get some more on that side, get, everybody on this side has been complaining to me in private. Yeah. But Chef Duntoye, I'd like you to give a final word before we say our goodbyes to you on this uh, masterclass, if you want to tell the audience anything. Well, I just want to say, really, uh, thank you for having me this year again. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come to Nigeria. I really appreciate, and what I love most, and what keeps bringing me back to Nigeria is the tenacity of the Nigerian people. In, in the face of everything you've always kind of found a way and uh you're an inspiration to me and i can't wait to keep coming back to nigeria and learning more from you guys and always i want to say thank you to shengo Agbaje for being the man that he is and you know uh, he promised that this year will be even better and to be honest you know from what i've seen it's been better better organized and everything and i want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart uh, thank you for allowing me to come back this year, um, and um, whenever you call, I'll always be at your service. Thank you very much. And to all, and sorry, and to the GTB crew, to the GTB crew, you are awesome. You are beyond awesome. And I hope that all the bank will follow your examples too. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Raphael Duntoye, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. Now, please remember ground rules. Let's not get on the stage. Please, if you'd like to take pictures, you can do that from down there. All right? And um, we'll be ex be uh, please be expecting you to vacate the room so we can get ready for the next master class.